Good morning guys and welcome to this week's vlog. It is Thursday and I've just ordered an Uber so I need to run out quickly but I've got a meeting with both my managers this morning for like our six month halfway through the year review. Um, so that'd be lovely. We're going to Chaconis and I always love catching up with them. So yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. summery day there in London, just walking down one street. Good afternoon guys, it's now, actually it's the evening, and I'm in my Pilates outfit. This one's from Adenola. I think I still have a code with them, so if I do, I'll put it in the description box, along with the links and everything. But yeah, it's a lovely like midnight blue kind of color. And these are the trainers I always wear when I'm doing any sport. These ones are from Bobby's, and I just think they're so cool. I love the tan on them. I feel like we've barely spoken in this video so far um, so we'll have to catch up tomorrow oh my god my camera is honestly hanging on by a thread I've just, I've just put some gaffer tape on it to hold it together it's not even that old it's just falling apart I'm back from Pilates and I'm about to make myself some dinner oh my god guys I have to tell you the most embarrassing thing that happened to me today I was walking down the stairs in M&S and I was holding some olives I slipped and fell flat on my bum the olives went everywhere, they exploded, and there was a woman behind me, and she was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. Oh my God, it was so bad. I feel like you just don't fall over as an adult. It's something that you do as a child, and as an elderly person, but not as an adult. I don't know what's wrong with me. So yeah, that was bad. Anyway, I'm gonna make myself some dinner, then watch Love Island. I said I wasn't gonna watch it this season, but it just gets to nine o'clock, and I'm not really doing anything else, because that's kind of when I'm winding down. And it's just something nice to look forward to. I don't know why I'm such a fan of it. Well, actually, no, I do know why. I'm really conscious of things that I consume, especially before bed, when it's like TV programs and stuff. And I like to know that nothing bad is gonna happen. And if bad, something bad does happen, it's just, you know, very trivial kind of drama. So it's just, it relaxes me. So yeah, I'm watching Love Island. Let me know if any of you guys are watching Love Island. I feel like it's not like the cool thing to watch anymore but maybe I'm wrong. And by the way, my makeup is looking very disheveled because I've just showered and I kind of took half of it off my face, but I need to do my whole skincare routine. Um, so yeah. If only you guys could see my camera right now, it looks like a state. And I do have this camera insured, but at the same time, I don't want to send it off because then how am I going to film? I need to do something about it. But anyway, that's not a problem for right now. Good morning, my loves. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm about to do my makeup and I thought this would be a good time to catch up. First and foremost, SPF. This is the beauty pie one, I absolutely love it. Yeah, I've got so much to tell you guys. I don't know where to start. Yesterday I had my six month review with my managers. We always do this at the beginning of the year and then halfway through. And I've been with them now for five years, which is crazy. I was really so lucky to have met them because they're just wonderful. And I speak to them more than I do pretty much anybody else. We speak all day long. Yeah, they're just lovely. But yeah, we were just talking about the goals that we had discussed at the beginning of the year and whether or not we've hit them yet or if we are on track to hit them. And one of my goals was a bit of a different one. It was to start writing articles or kind of being featured in press, both online and offline. And the reason I wanted to do this was just because, I don't know, sometimes with this job, your job isn't repetitive at all, it's always very different day to day, but the general things you do are quite similar. And I just wanted to challenge myself and do something a bit different. And I thought this would be really good and an interesting way to kind of evolve my career slightly. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm I'm still obsessed with doing what I do, and I don't want that to change, but I just wanted something on the side of that. And, um, you know, we were talking about the dream publications that, is that really bad fake tan? No, it looks bad on camera, but it's not in real life. And at the beginning of the year, I said the dream publication to be featured in would probably be Grazia, because it's a magazine that I grew up with, it's the one that my mum bought, it's the one that I always would like steal and look through. And yeah, I had the news last week that I have my own column in Grazia, and I just can't believe it, it's really crazy. And I 
don't know how it's happened but i'm so grateful and so excited about it as well so yeah definitely keep your eyes out for that i will post on my story as and when that comes out I feel like it hasn't even sunk in yet even just saying it out loud makes me just feel like i'm talking about somebody else but i'm just yeah i can't believe it i'm so happy so i'm going to be writing about fashion in particular i think they want me to focus a lot on petite fashion and to be petite you have to be five foot four and under and i'm five foot four so um, i'm going to be giving all my tips and tricks i've already written some articles for um i think i've written four articles so far for various different publications so i'll have those linked down below I wrote one about um, it was 10 ways to look expensive and that was one of my favourites because I just really gave all of my tips and tricks. I'm not the best writer in the world but I give it a good go and I really enjoy it so so yeah something really exciting for me and I can't wait to see kind of where it takes me. I thought I'd also give you guys some apartment updates. I'm having a bit of a break from it at the moment I actually find it so stressful and it's so distracting from work as well so i'm enjoying focusing on work again now lots of you have been asking about the wardrobe and i'm so annoyed because i really wanted to show you an update in this video and i thought i'd be able to but it's not arrived yet if you watch my last vlog you'll know that the doors arrived the wrong side and then they fitted the doors the week after but then but then the surround to the doors was wrong again so the doors are in but it's still not what i wanted so they're fitting it again um next week i think so hopefully next time i vlog fingers crossed touch wood i can show you an update and yeah other than that now the only thing left to do i need to do the kitchen i want to wrap it just in a different color at the moment it's gray and i'm not a fan of gray so i just want to change the kitchen but that's not going to be i say it's not going to be a huge job but these things always end up being quite big and i also just need to add cabinets into the bathroom because i've got a lot of um empty space which can be used for storage yeah i need to furnish it as well it's actually really empty and i've got a lot of our kind of temporary or our old furniture when we were living in the rented apartments i always said that i just wanted to get cheap furniture because i wanted to get furniture that was perfect for the space that i lived in when i had bought a place so um i'm glad that i did that because i think it saved a lot of money and, and i'm now able to get furniture that really fits the space well as i'm sure a lot of you will know furniture takes weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks to arrive even my dining chairs i ordered those back in february and they're still not here so it's um definitely a work in progress and the place definitely isn't how I wanted to look right now but it's okay and I'm just being patient. The thing I also need to change is the bunnies house. So I had the bunnies house built by my carpenters and um, I'll show you guys in a minute. It's really cute. I needed to paint it but I'm not going to paint it now because Pippin doesn't like it. There's something about it that she doesn't like. I don't know if she feels a bit claustrophobic or something because basically what she does if she gets all of her litter, so I'll show you in a minute, but basically what it is, it's a litter tray inside and then there's a hay rack. And she gets all of her litter, all of her hay, and she pushes it, it's actually quite cute to watch, but it's really annoying. She pushes it like that, all out, all over the floor, and it creates such a mess, and it's honestly such a nightmare. So I've got an idea for another one that can be built, which I think she might like a bit more, hopefully. But other than that, I think I'm just going to have to show you guys kind of as and when things come in. I, in an ideal world, I really wanted to dedicate vlogs to each room. It just doesn't happen that way. These things happen so slowly and so gradually. So, oh, Pippin, don't do that. She's doing it now. Pippin, don't do that. The thing that I wanted to mention as well is that I hit 900,000 followers on Instagram recently. And I cannot believe it. It is actually crazy. Because when I look at people with 900,000 followers on Instagram, I'm always like, oh my God, they've got a lot of followers. And now, I have it, but the, I just can't really quite connect the dots. It's absolutely crazy, which means the next milestone will be a million if I get there. But yeah, it's definitely down to reels. I think Instagram is funny, like it just kind of pushes out the way it wants you to grow. And at the moment, if you post reels consistently, it just pushes your account so much more. So I think most of my followers are coming from reels. And also TikTok as well. I had a couple of videos on TikTok that went semi-viral and then I think that brought a lot of people over but yeah it's crazy I actually get like stage fright a little bit I'm like oh my god all these new people but I'm not complaining it's all really good things I'm mentioning a lot of positive stuff that's going on right now but for full transparency guys I've Pippin stop it <laughs> I have really struggled the last two weeks with my mental health like nothing crazy nothing really bad but but I kind of was coming off my medication it's something that I always talk about I want to do and I was doing it really, really slowly to the point where I was almost on nothing. And for context, if you're new here, I take antidepressants. And, and I was almost on nothing. 
and all of a sudden I just felt so rubbish like so low so down just not excited about anything then I was like okay this isn't gonna work I need to come slowly back on the medication by the way i'm doing all of this with guidance of my doctor i'm not just doing this on my own and then the kind of lowness went but then the anxiety kicked in and i just had awful anxiety for a week so yeah it was like two weeks of just feeling really rubbish and i think i'm kind of coming out the other side of it i can feel my personality coming through a bit more now which is nice but yeah i just thought i'd mention that as well just so you know you guys know that it's not all all happy all the time and you know good things can be happening to you and you can have a good life it doesn't mean that you don't struggle with these things i've done my eyebrows really badly today oh i think my worry for me now is what if that is just my default and that's just how i am naturally maybe i'm just naturally i have just less serotonin in my brain and i'm naturally just a lower person and what if i have to be on these forever and i don't think there's anything wrong with being on them forever but we just don't know the you know do, we don't know if these if these have lasting effects on our body, there's not a lot of research into it. I know there's lots of like kind of holistic approaches that you can go into, which I'm definitely researching about, but it's just a lot to think about alongside, you know, work and just living a normal life. Yeah, that's kind of what's going on in my head at the moment. But this Dior mascara is my absolute new favorite. Do you remember when I was obsessed with the Marc Jacobs at Lashed mascara? And then they discontinued it. And I think this has been my favourite mascara since that one. I absolutely love it. I'm really excited for today. I've got the morning working. My assistant's coming up and we're going to just work in the flat together. And then this afternoon I'm heading down to Brighton with the bunnies because my brother is back. I haven't seen him in literally like, it feels like two years, but I think it's a bit under two years. And I've missed him so much. He's been travelling um he's been living in australia and traveling and just living his best life basically but he's now home so i can't wait to see him i'm so excited yeah i'm gonna have like a family dinner tonight and um the bunnies are coming with me i sometimes feel really bad that the bunnies don't have a garden so whenever i go down to brighton i do like to take them with me so they can run around my mum's garden and they love it there's lots of things for them to explore and nibble and they just live their best life so yes anyway i'm gonna stop chatting now because i really need to get a wiggle on i've just been faffing around for ages. So I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Come on, in you go. Come on, in you go. Good morning. Good morning. Happy weekend everyone. Good morning, happy Sunday from me and Opal. Oh, thank you, <laughs> licking my arm for me, that's very kind. I am home as you can see, I didn't vlog Brighton at all. Wait, let me find a place to pop you guys. I don't know why, I just got there and I was so overwhelmed and happy to see my family all back together again. We just sat in the garden, it was me, my mum, my dad, my brother, the two cats and the two bunnies and it just felt so nice and yeah we just had the best time we went out for dinner and i just really wanted to be in the moment so i didn't pick up the vlogging camera at all yeah, back in london now it's very warm and humid i've actually got the air conditioning on running for the first time and i'm very grateful for my past self for installing this i remember at the time i was a bit hesitant because it's a big job but yeah i think it was a really good decision to make especially in a flat in London it just gets so so warm and we're south facing as well so we just get all the sunlight all day long but I'll leave the company that I used um, down below in the description box because I've had quite a lot of questions about whether or not they're good or not and I just wanted to wait a bit for it to like settle in and for me to actually use it so far so good it literally cools down the room within minutes but here's how it looks when it's on so very minimal and it actually looks quite like nice because we've got the coving ends here and here which makes it look a little bit less ugly i think so today's plan is to go to the park with my boyfriend have a picnic and just enjoy the weather i think when i also have a unboxing to show you guys let me should i do it in here or in my dressing room i don't have my dressing room okay so for full transparency i've already opened this package up and i did a tiktok unboxing which was like my first impression so i'm not going to pretend to open the whole box and everything with you guys because i've already opened it but let me get them hang on so i ordered a pair of designer sunglasses 
They're from Celine. They've been on my Pinterest for a while and I'm obsessed with them. I just thought the weather's getting so nice now, it's a great time to purchase them. So, one really cool thing about these I didn't realise was part of the package is the sunglasses case they come with. So it's like a little pouch and you can wear this crossbody as a bag and I just think that's so cute. It's like very tourist chic. So I picked up these metal frame Celine sunglasses. They're this like really nice oval shape with this very kind of green tinted, is that a scratch? No. Hang on, let me get them a quick clean. Yeah, they've got like a green tint to the shades and then on the side you have, let's focus, the Celine Triumph logo and they're just so chic and they just give me a really like vintage vibe. I really like as well is I think they actually suit my face shape quite well. Do you know what I mean? Like I really like the way you can see my eyebrows quite clearly because sometimes I think because I've got quite a big forehead if the sunglasses, oh my god that's so funny, if my sunglasses cover my eyebrows it just doesn't look quite right but I really like them. I think they're really cool and I have nothing like this in my sunglasses collection. So yeah, they're a whole vibe. I just bought them directly on um, the Celine website and they came next day delivery. Yeah, I'm gonna wear them today, I think, to the park. I've had a lot of requests recently to show my designer or just my sunglasses collection. Um, so should we do that now? I think that'd be nice to do right now. So this is how I saw them all. I've just got this kind of sliding drawer that comes out in my wardrobe. And these are the ones that I wear the most often and gravitate towards. So let me show you one by one. Okay, so starting off with my first pair of designer sunglasses and probably my most warm, these Saint Laurent Cat Eye Sunnies. I just think these are such a chic and classic look. And for some reason, I don't normally like it when designer items have the logo written, so for example this says Saint Laurent, or if it's written Chanel, I prefer it if it's just like a subtle logo, or I mean not always so subtle, but do you know what I mean? But with these I really like them, and I just think these are a cool pair, again, I like them because you can see my eyebrows, so it frames the face nicely, so I'll have these, and all of the ones I mention, if they are still stocked, link down below. The second pair of designer sunglasses I bought were these Celine ones. I feel like I rarely wear these now. These are very big and bold, oversized, and these are a really classic design from Celine, and I feel like these have been around for so many years, but I don't know, at the moment I'm just not gravitating towards them, but I feel like they're the kind of style that comes and goes in waves in terms of like how much they're trending. But what I do really like is how it's half black and half tortoise shell. Let me come up close. Yeah, I really like it. It means it goes with a lot of different outfits. And then my third pair of designer sunglasses, which were bought in December last year, are my Chanel ones. I, oh my god, I love these ones so much. I just love the side. Look at the pearl detailing, it's just so Chanel. And then you've got the CC as well. I think on camera, this, these often look like they're black, but they're actually a very dark tortoise shell. So for some reason, I have like this rule in my head that if I'm wearing a white outfit or a neutral outfit, I'll pair it with brown sunglasses. If I'm wearing a black outfit, I'll pair it with black sunglasses. And I don't know why, this definitely isn't a rule that you have to stick to, but I just find it works for me. And yeah, I just think these are gorgeous. Even the shape as well. They're like kind of a bit cat eye because they come up like this, but they're still a nice bold shape. And yeah, I absolutely adore them. They also come in white as well, which are honestly just so perfect for the summer. Um, I think Yasmin actually bought them in white and they looked really, really nice on her. I also have this pair. These are from H&M and I love these so much. These are kind of like a Celine dupe with the rounded oval lenses. Could you see what I mean? And like you have this gold detail here, which I really like as well. And they're the kind of things that you'd never know are from H&M. I think they're great. So I really like these ones. These are in black, but they also have them in tortoise as well. And I also have quite a lot pair of Jimmy Choo sunglasses. I worked on a campaign of them recently, which was honestly an absolute dream come true to work with Jimmy Choo. I am obsessed with the brand. And when the partnership came through, I honestly squealed like a little girl. I was so happy. So I've got quite a few from them. First of all, this pair here, which are like a rectangular kind of slim shape. I love these. These are very like she means business kind of vibes. Do you know what I mean? Like there's no messing around when you wear these sunglasses. And then you have the big GJ. One thing about me that I don't know if I've ever told you guys, I cannot tell the difference between G's and J's. They 
there is some kind of mental block in my head where no matter how much practice and whatever I do, G and J, I just, I can't tell the difference. Oh, it's a J, isn't it? Yes. So J, C, G, yes, J, C. Yeah, it's got the logo there. So yeah, a really nice pair. Another pair I have from Jimmy Choo. These ones are tortoise shell. And these are very, very like cat eye. Again, they give me this like vintage kind of vibe. Do you know what I mean? The only thing of these is you have to wear them quite like halfway down your nose like this for the, in order for them to look nice. On my face anyway. Because when I wear them like this, actually no, that's fine. No, but when you wear them like this, and what even is that? But here, it's a vibe. Another favourite pair from Jimmy Choo are these ones. Oh, I love how like thin the frame is. And these ones are in black, but look how big they are. Like they're big, but they're elegant. And they also have a little pearl detail on the side here. I don't know why, but these give me Audrey Hepburn vibes. I really love them. So yeah, those are like the top ones I wear from Jimmy Choo, my top favourite three. And now of course I can also add my Celine pair to my collection and as you can see there's definitely a missing kind of style in there and I think the Celine fit perfectly here. It's also on my radar as well to do a jewellery tour for you guys but I'm just waiting on one final piece to arrive for my wardrobe because when that piece arrives I'm going to sort out all my jewellery and I thought we could do that together. Here's a better look at the super dry dress. It's so pretty. Look at this lovely like embroidery. The only thing I would say is I'm five foot four and this the length on this is perfect. So if you're a little bit taller maybe like go up a couple sizes or something because it's definitely short. Oh, let me show you the back as well. Hang on. Look how pretty the back is. Such a lovely dress. I've got a code as well for Super Dry at the moment, um, which is, I think it's either Kate H15. I don't know. I'll put it down below in the description box along with a link for this. Very pretty. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I need to head to the supermarket to get some picnic bits. Oh my God, guys, if you are ever around Battersea Power Station, there's this little supermarket. It's next, I think it's actually next to my dentist, White & Co., and it is the most wonderful supermarket I've ever come across in my life. It is just amazing. It's so well stocked and it's like something out of a movie. It's almost like a little set. It's mostly like organic and healthy stuff. You can't miss it. Um, but I'm going to go there. It's honestly, I could spend hours in there. It's so much fun. So I'm going to head there, then go to Battersea Park and have a picnic. So I'm going to leave you guys here. I love you all so, so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.